Hi, I'm Robert Masonette, the creator of Latin Lives, the play and the web series. Um, we're celebrating our 22nd anniversary this year. Um, we're going to have our final run Monday, September 28th, starting and ending uh, Sunday, October 5th. Uh, a friend of mine recently asked me why I'm still doing Latin Lives and why I haven't moved on. And um, I was a little shocked that she asked me that, but I, you know, I, I put some thought into it. And there was one time where I actually thought about the fact that maybe we don't need Latin Lives anymore. We've come a long way as far as Latinos making it in this industry and whatever. Um, and that year that I put up Latin Lives, I thought it was going to be the last year. And I got a letter from somebody who came to see the show. And I think this letter sums up why I'm still doing Latin Lives. Um, so I want to share it with you guys. I saw your show on Saturday and I wanted to tell you how gr grateful I was for it. I wish that I could say growing up Latina has been a wonderful and positive experience for me, but up until now it hasn't. It has been painful, confusing, and extremely lonely. I grew up in a dysfunctional family and in a Latin community that I never felt a part of. I saw young girls pregnant. I saw drugs, dysfunction, you name it. I grew up scared not knowing where I belonged to or who I was. I grew up embarrassed at what I saw in Latinos. And ultimately, as I grew older and went to college, I slowly turned away from being Latin. I suddenly stopped speaking Spanish. I thought I would be happy if I moved to Manhattan and embraced my American culture, but I wasn't. In time, living in Midtown made me feel even more confused and lonely. It bothered me that there weren't any Latinos in my neighborhood. It bothered me that running in Central Park, there were hardly any Latinos running as well. But at the same time, I knew that I was harassed by Latin men when I ran in the reservoir in Bedford Park in the Bronx. And now, having moved back to the Bronx, the confusion is there as well. Only lately, I really have been starting to question my Latin roots, wondering who the hell I am. Coming to the conclusion that there had to be more to being Latin than drugs, welfare, and teenage pregnancy. And so decided to make a conscious effort to look for and embrace Latin events that I could identify with. I even decided that I needed to go to Puerto Rico and see for myself where my ancestors came from. So with this on my mind, I saw a sticker, a sticker advertising your show. And I can honestly say that going to see Latin Lives was one of the best decisions I have ever made. Without wanting to come across as corny, I have to say that for the first time in my life, I felt so connected to other Latinos. I really felt like I belonged. And while I do not know you or the other cast members, spiritually, you guys feel like family. So with that being said, I want to say thank you for Latin Lives. It has come to mean so much to me personally as I now begin to explore the real and true meaning of being Latin. Know that your show is that cornerstone. May God bless you and continue to give you the aspiration and perseverance to express your passion through your art. Um, her name was Jacqueline. She saw the show in 2003 and during the run um, I got this email from her. And this is the reason that I'm still doing Latin Lives because there is still a need for this show. Um, there's a new generation that hasn't seen it. A uh, new generation of Latin, Latin, Latins here in America that need to be reminded of their heritage, where they come from, who their heroes are, and to be proud of being Latin.